we kind of find out, found out in an anticlimactic way. Uh, and it, it took a little bit of time for us to kind of sit back and, and realize how much this really meant to our program. I mean, it's been a long time. We've only had one GLIAC championship in our program history. And, uh, you know, we, we tend to set our expectations pretty high, but uh, this is monumental. It's, it's really important to us, and we have a chance to do it all over again this weekend. It was awesome. I mean, we certainly would have been, you know, preferred to have had it to ourselves, but we did a lot of good work during the season to get us there. And, you know, we're aware that it's not, not all that often that it happens, and, and our program has been working really hard to get there. But, you know, being maybe co-champs leaves us a little space to stay hungry here, uh, the kind of hunger we might need to, to kind of go the, go the distance in this tournament. So, you know, we're hungry for another, another title and, and try to get, uh, get to the end and, and play our best throughout. But, no, it felt good, and, and it was... Um, it was a good season. I think it, this season was really special. You know, we are going to be the only team, hopefully, in history that gets to play for five seasons. I mean, that's special in its own way. Uh, and there were a lot of challenges. I mean, we were stop and go for most of the fall semester. And that was really hard, you know, the lack of consistency and just really wanting to compete and wanting to, you know, be on the court with my team as, as much as we could. And, um, you know, for a while there, we were even doing segmented practices with only small groups. And that was challenging. But it, in, the, in the same sense, we, we also got to kind of work on certain skills in a way that we don't in a normal season. Um, we got to break those down a bit more, and you know we have a we have a big class of freshmen this year, so it was really cool to uh, try to bring them in in a way that was different than years past. Usually, it's really quick all in preseason; you just kind of hop on the bus and you roll with it. But uh, this year was definitely different, and we got to know each other in a different way, and uh, we really get to prepare for next season and hopefully, you know, another season of trying to get to the NCAA tournament. I mean, I've said this all year long, uh, when you're working with and operating with just such good people and responsible players and um, with families that are supportive and administration that do a lot, you know, to make things happen for you, um, it just makes the whole process that much more, uh, well, makes it possible and it makes it that much more enjoyable. So, um, yeah, we had our ups and downs. Uh, the fall was a challenge and we tried to get, you know, just to string together a couple practices in a row or even understand who we could be practicing or training with, you know, um, from that to being shut down for bits at a time. But we came back, I think, after the uh, Christmas break um, excited to have the spring season. Now we were aware of you know the the lack of postseason beyond GLIAC being a factor of it all. And we were kind of looking forward to just focusing on the GLIAC, and I think it really it really proved to be an interesting season. And at the end of the day, we, we came out the number one seed going into the tournament, and so now it, you know our our gaze and our focus is, is on that. Yes, yeah, so we had I think nine girls who were able to play there. Um, and it, we were honestly so excited. You know, it, it sucked for the girls that were out. That was definitely really hard. And, you know, we felt for them and we were trying to support them in the best way that we could. But how better to support them than a sweep of Ferris State, right? I mean, we, we came together and we said, you know, the people that we have is is what we're going to roll with. There's no changes that can be made. There's no substitutions. If you're not feeling it, you know, you, you have to perform. And, and everyone did. And we had some players like Jill and Maggie who came into a role that wasn't really theirs, uh, you know, in weeks prior. And they crushed it. And that was really fun to see. And I think, I think that was a spark going forward for the rest of the short season that we did have that, you know, anyone's capable of performing and helping us win. That was a really interesting weekend. So um, when we learned who was going to be available, well, we certainly were bummed for those who weren't. And um, for many reasons, when I, when I saw the, the, you know, the, the nine of them that were available, uh, I thought that was fantastic. And there was a lot, obviously a lot to work with there. The way that they stood their ground and stood up for us there, and then I th you know, the way they got others involved in the game action was just was 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 masterful. I think of the way Jill Morgan and uh, Maggie played in that weekend, and uh, they showcased their abilities uh, in, in a big way. But their ability to do that in large part happens when you have you know leaders around you um, that give you that confidence and are doing what they're doing as well. So that was a great moment for sure. It's a clean slate. I mean, for the first time, you know, every team in the GLIAC gets to go to the tournament and. Uh 
gets to compete for a GLIAC championship. It's a whole new season. It nothing that was done, you know, for this short seven weeks that we played matters anymore. Uh, it's a clean slate, and you know we don't know who we're going to see yet, but we're really excited to play whoever we do, and you know maybe even get a little bit of revenge on some of those teams that we split with. And we're really excited, and hopefully we're bringing home another banner. The first time I saw Megan play as a player in in, in club, I knew that we wanted her on our team. In fact, uh, former assistant Doug and I were were on the same page right away with Megan. You watch her play, and, and you understand and you understand why. She brings um, a toughness and a, and a a, uh, a resiliency to her game that is infectious and she's been a vocal leader of ours since the, the minute she got here. Um, she, she impresses you know, me in a lot of ways with her leadership ability and her ability to, to keep our team grinding and going, and when, especially when the going gets tough. So um, she's had a great season for us this year. She continues to be one of our, our, our primary leaders and certainly one of our, our, floor, our floor leaders. And the amount of trust that I have in her to you know, uh, make decisions and, and, um, and back up what Cindy and I are trying to do is, is immense. So without Megan, there's no doubt we're not where we are now. And uh, I think the team understands that too. And you know, it seems like the last two seasons in particular, she's really ended her year with just a string of pretty darn good games in a row. And we're seeing that again here right now. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing that continue into the tournament. Yeah, um, staying together and playing together and getting better as the tournament goes is is probably you know one of the I think the outline of our goal. Um, to your point, we usually break season into segments like preseason. Pre, like pre-GLIAC, GLIAC, postseason, right? And um, it wasn't that long ago where postseason ended after GLIAC for us. And you know, the idea of NCAA was was kind of a distant idea. Um, we certainly felt like we would have been in a position to get there now, but without that being the case, the, the, the GLIAC championship becomes um, the, the singular focus. We haven't had one, you know, and that was kind of what the, the point was with this season's regular season t like share of the title. You know, that's something that we haven't accomplished yet as a group, but since the 90s or just twice ever. Clearly, like tournament championship, it's not been done yet. Um, and that's something that we want to check off our, our, our box because I think this team deserves it. They, um, they are good enough to win it, and it's a matter of us stringing together, you know, um, good games in a row. This tournament, what's interesting is with the size of it, and I think this year's improvement with some other teams, um, and including ourselves. You know, uh, one through five and beyond, one through six, it, you know, a team catches fire and they could go all the way through. And with all these extended rounds, you never know who it is. So this will be interesting. It's kind of like a sprint to the end. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna start on Friday, and it's gonna be whoever plays the best, you know, all the way to the end. I, I like our chances if we're playing our game. I feel like we have the deep, the deepest team in the league. Um, and if we haven't proven that this year, um, I don't. I don't know. I mean, like, I feel like that's been a huge part of our strength this year, and we're gonna have to lean on it again um, this weekend.